I'm Tanika Hughes. I'm John Bachman. Action News Jack's Megan Moriarty has been at the teen's home since late this morning. She joins us live now. And Megan, you spoke with the family before they went to see the apartment and collect Ayana's things and tell us that they believe Ayana was targeted. Yeah, and right now we're standing here to give them some space. But earlier they told me that they were originally were coming to Jacksonville this week to celebrate Ayana's new baby girl who is due on Friday. But instead, they're now planning for a funeral. Earlier when we were at the apartment, we saw several bullet holes in her window. And in fact, neighbors told us that there were about 25 shots fired. Some of them even hit that U-Haul behind us that is being towed right now for evidence. Like I said, we spoke with family and we want to tell you why they believe that she was targeted. She is the first grand and she was bringing the first great great grand. What was supposed to be a week filled with excitement and celebrations is now one of the worst weeks of Ayanna McGraw's family's life. I talk to my daughter every day, every day for hours on the phone. Ayanna's mother described her and her daughter's close bond through tears. She says the 19-year-old was eager to be an adult and live on her own. Her family believes her death was the result of an ongoing dispute that didn't involve her. She fell into a situation where she was being manipulated played on by what her feelings, you know, and this is the result of it. Instead, her life was cut short. JSO says they were called to the apartments on Justina Road around 8 p.m. on Monday night when they found a woman shot to death inside an apartment. After returning this morning, we found evidence markers and bullet holes. Neighbors say they heard close to 25 gunshots. You took her life away and she didn't even get a chance to meet her baby. We reached out to JSO to try to get some answers. We asked if this is gang related and we also asked what's going on with Ayana's unborn child. We're still waiting to hear back right now. They're not releasing much information. Reporting in Arlington, Megan Moriarty, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax.